How do mammograms and hormone therapy affect a woman's risk of breast cancer? Are we doing more harm than good? Joining me now is Dr. Clark Hansen from the Hansen Clinic of Natural Medicine. Dr. Hansen, thank you for joining us. Yes. You know what, the thing that we're all told to do is, you know, get your mammograms. You're always supposed right. to check for that. Well, there's some shocking news. Just recently, of course, you saw the Reader's Digest article, a big article about is there really some concern about these cancer tests? Mm -hmm. There is big concern. and about, It was about uh, five years ago we actually found out that these cancer tests are increasing the risk of cancer. How so? Well, mammogram is ionizing radiation. Mm -hmm. So for years we've been told that they're you know, finding breast cancer early, but maybe we're actually causing it because this radiation is causing cancer, we know. And there was a large study done in Canada, mm -hmm. 50,000 nurses, mm -hmm. and they found that women who started at age 40 by the time they're age 50, they actually had 136% increased incidence of a risk of, of breast cancer and more of them dying from breast cancer. Well, you say there are other alternatives and other tests that women yeah. can use besides a mammogram. What are they? Well, recently also in the seventh international conference of breast cancer, mm -hmm. they found out that docs actually beat mammograms at detecting breast lumps. Mm -hmm. So doctors are actually finding more breast lumps than the mammograms. Mm -hmm. So what I recommend is the woman, first of all, they get an annual breast exam from their doctor. They're mm -hmm. going to find more breast lumps than actually the, the mammograms, if there's something there. And doesn't that usually happen when you get your annual exam, which you should always get? Right, it should. So mm -hmm. you need to get an annual exam from the same physician. You want, and you want it to be a physician. Mm -hmm. they can, the mammograms are a third less likely to find the breast lumps than the physician, according to this study. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And if there's something that's suspicious there, a lump, you want to find out if it's hollow in the center, that would be a cyst. All you need is an ultrasound to detect that. Mm -hmm. If it's not hollow in the center, then you need to get an MRI. Mm -hmm. You don't get a mammogram at all anymore. Mm -hmm. all right. So you get an MRI and that's more sensitive than is the, the mammogram at detecting whether or not it's cancer. Right. Now, are there foods that can prevent breast cancer? Because oh, sure. you always bring food options oh, yeah. for it. The foods, that's what I love to talk about is the foods. It's the hormones that cause these changes that we mm -hmm. got to be treating or, or worried about. Everybody wants you know, to know what do you do about the hormones. A woman early on starts to get PMS. That mm -hmm. indicates you got too much estrogen. Oh. And if, if a woman gets then menopausal symptoms, hot flashes, mood disorder, irritability, mm -hmm. she's got another set of symptoms. And the truth is we need to be testing these hormones and find out what they are. And that's the best way to determine your risk of breast cancer, mm -hmm. how much estrogen you have. If you've got too much estradiol and not enough estriol, mm -hmm. the protective estrogen, you're going to be more likely to get breast cancer. So I tell all my women, we need a test, and we use a saliva hormone test mm -hmm. to measure that, and then we can find out what their risk is. All right, for people, who, for women who, people, for women who have, are in menopause, right. are there herbs that they can take to help yeah. relieve some of the symptoms? Because you always, I'm sure you hear about hot flashes. Well, the hormone replacement therapy has been found to cause cancer also. Mm -hmm. um, in 2002, it was found to cause 26% increased risk of breast cancer. And what hormone therapy would that be? That would be estradiol and mm -hmm. progestin. So synthetic okay. progesterone and, and estradiol and estrone. Those are the, the body makes three different types of estrogen. Mm -hmm. And estradiol and estrone are the cancer causing ones. Oh. The body also makes estriol, which is actually protective. That's the one that goes up when a woman is pregnant. Mm -hmm. And the more pregnancies, the longer a woman breastfeeds, the less likely they are to have breast cancer. That's because that estriol is higher. So we recommend foods like the wild yam that has estriol in it and the soy, soybeans, but the compounding pharmacists can actually make estriol mm -hmm. from these mm -hmm. products. And we use an herb that's in this product here, mm -hmm. estrogen, called simisifuga, mm -hmm. that actually reduces the symptoms of menopause, the hot flashes, the night sweats, the moodiness. What about bioidentical hormones? Well, bioidentical hormones is an issue that's real important because mm -hmm. the body makes hormones. We want to try to balance them. So mm -hmm. we do this test to find out what's out of balance. But the most important thing is taking a product that has estriol in it. Mm -hmm. So that's what some of these uh, plant sources have in them mm -hmm. that build up that estrogen level that's the protective estrogen. And some bioidentical hormones are not always safe. So you need to test to see what the level is. So if you get too much estradiol, that could still cause cancer, even though it's bioidentical. Now, if people have questions for you, you have a special, you have a special class that they could go to, a free seminar, yeah, we're right? Yeah, a seminar coming up because there's just too much to talk about. I so know, we could go on for another hour. Thursday, <laughs> mm -hmm. April the 23rd, we're going to have a free seminar about all the hormone answers that you questions you have, you have need to get answered. We're going to be there to answer for you. Mm -hmm. It's really complicated 
kind of concerning because women are being told so many conflicting things. Right, like first get a mammogram them, yeah, and mammograms might be dangerous. And they say take the hormones and they say no, they're causing risk. Okay. And they say they're not. And the foods, we want to tell you which foods you can actually eat to re reduce your risk of okay. breast cancer by 50%. All right, well, that's, that's good information that I'm sure a lot of people will, will want to know about. And for more information about the Hansen Clinic of Natural Medicine and the upcoming seminar, visit them on the web at Dr. Hansen, that's Hansen with an E, dot com, or call the number on your screen.